Welcome back to the blogging breakdown. Today I have another LTK creator tip for you. I'm going to be sharing how I do my LTK posts. So if you want to learn how to post on LTK or your LTK storefront, then just keep on watching. If you are new to LTK and you don't even know how to link a product, I suggest you watch this video first. There I share how to link products three different ways on your desktop, on your cell phone, through the LTK Creator app, and also how to create posts if you are not on the LTK Creator app. So definitely go check out that video first and come back to this one where I'm gonna be sharing my step-by-step -step process on creating an LTK post. Let's start at the very basic. You need to first build your LTK storefront. So the LTK storefront is basically like your calling card. This is the first thing think of it as like your brick and mortar like this is what people are gonna see whenever they land on your LTK storefront and this is definitely somewhere that you want to drive all of your audience to is your LTK storefront because that is where you house all of the products that you share but let's start at the beginning so in order to build your storefront you want to go and head over to the LTK creator app on your phone once you're on the home screen go ahead and click your name up top and you'll see it says my LTK shop. You can go ahead and click those three little buttons on the right and you will see where it says edit shop. Click edit shop and then you'll be able to customize your LTK storefront. Make it all about you. This is like where you can really share your personality. Like for me, I like obviously neutrals, very light, like minimal style. So I have a background that is very minimal and it just caters to my aesthetic. If you're somebody who loves colorful stuff, you can make like a collage on Canva and upload it that way. Or you can just upload a picture that you really like, just whatever it's like, you can do whatever you want. This is really just for aesthetics. It's really just to kind of highlight your personality and your style. Also want to add a profile picture. I suggest uploading a picture that is about you, obviously. So if you're into fashion, share something wearing a fashionable outfit. If you're into home, maybe you could be standing in this nice like living room that you just decorated. You want it to be something that again is all about you, your personality, what you're going to be sharing. It also helps if you have the same profile picture that you have across social channels. So it's easier for your followers to identify you. But again, that's really up to you. I think the most important thing is that it is a picture of you and that they can see your face. Next, you have your LTK shop name. So this, I believe that you can change. I personally leave it as is because I have already shared my LTK shop name like this across like blog posts, across socials. So I don't change this, but if you're just starting out, you can change it to whatever you want. But again, just be aware that you don't want to change it later because that's going to like throw off the links that you've already shared. Unless you have like a spreadsheet where you have a list of all the places that you have shared this specific link. This is kind of like a URL. Like once you change it, then you're going to break all the links that are out there on the interweb. So you just don't want to change that unless you're just starting out. In this case, you can just make it whatever you want, whether it be your name or maybe you go under something different for your website. You can do that. It's just really your choice. Next, you want to go ahead and do an about you in this section. I highly suggest that you put very detail specifics about you. So me personally, I share a lot of fashion. So I like to put sizing information on here so people can see the type of sizing that I am. Like if I was six feet tall and I have somebody who is more petite, maybe like a five foot, maybe things are going to be looking a little bit different. So people tend to follow other creators that are, have similar taste or style, or maybe they have similar body types. So this is a great indicator. So people kind of know, okay, so she's a little bit on the taller side or she's a little bit on the shorter side because pictures can be deceiving. So this way you kind of highlight your measurements so people can kind of put two and two together and make a better purchasing decision. In this case, I have my height. I have what I wear in the bottom. I put on there that I usually wear medium tops. I hover between 28, 29 in jeans and shoe size 10. You only have 150 characters, so you wanna be very strategic as to what you put on here. I also added my website and also what type of content they can expect from me. Obviously I share a lot of neutral style and capsule wardrobe pieces. So I went ahead and highlighted that there. If somebody is really into colorful prints, maybe I'm not the best creator for them to follow. So you, again, you want to be very strategic as to what you put in this section. 
Once you save it, then you can go down here. You have your shop permissions. Um, I had a virtual assistant. If I wanted to give her access to my LTK storefront, I would toggle this over to the right. You can just give permissions to, if you have a virtual assistant or just have an assistant that works with you, you can do that. So once that is all set up, let's go ahead and view my shop so you can see how it looks on the actual shop LTK app. Okay, so as you can see here, all the details that we have looks very clean and polished. You also have a search box, so be sure to let your audience know that there is a search function. So just in case maybe something that they liked or they saw last week gets buried in all the other posts that you have on your storefront, they can just go ahead and search for it and more than likely it will pop up. Another thing that you can do on your LTK storefront is create collections. Um, these trending videos will auto populate. So if you have created videos and uploaded them to your storefront, then this is where they will populate. I believe they do this like every week or is it 30 days? I'm not hundred percent sure, but they basically see which videos are getting the most engagement or most more clicks in. And that is how they determined your trending video. So in case you missed it, I mentioned it in this video that LTK highly, highly suggest you create video content. It's what the brands are asking from LTK. And so LTK is asking that of the creators. So again, give the people what they want, create those videos. Next up, there is the product section here. You can basically pick certain products. So even if you don't have a specific collage or a picture of you wearing an item, but you really want to highlight it because you think it's beautiful, then you can just pick certain products and put them here in this products section and then start your storefront. So here's where all your entries are going to be housed. Doesn't matter if it's a collage, a video or a still, it's just all going to be on here. So let's go ahead and create our LTK post. So whenever you are on your LTK creator app, this is where you're going to be creating the post. You cannot create the post on your desktop yet. Hopefully that'll come out soon. As of right now, you can only create LTK posts on the LTK creator app. So if you're not a creator, you're not going to be able to download this app or sign on to it. So, so first you want to make sure that you are accepted to the LTK program. If you want to learn more about how to get accepted to LTK, definitely check out this video. Whenever you go onto your creator app, go ahead and click the shop button. You're going to see this big old plus sign on the lower right hand corner. Go ahead and click that and it's going to pull up a new post. First thing I like to do is click on the add photos or videos. This is basically your library of videos and pictures that you have already uploaded to LTK, which you can also do if you like, let's just say you just took a new picture and you want to add it on here. Whenever you add photos and videos, it's going to give you this enable access to add photos. Go to select photos. Oh, there is a little glitch. It has been doing this lately. So basically I just have to go back into it. This is actually very annoying. So click the photos, select photos, and let's just say I'm going to do this one. I'm going to add that and it's somewhere in here. I'm sure it's this one right here. <laughs> so once you click it, you hit next, this next section, you can actually crop it to whatever you want. So, uh, if you want it shorter, this one, if you hit original, it's going to give you the actual dimensions of the picture or video that you took. I personally like to do this nine by 16. The reason I do this is kind of goes back to Pinterest, why they have longer posts. Whenever you're scrolling, the longer the post is, the more your, um, post is going to be on the shoppers screen. So if it's something very small as they're scrolling, it doesn't take very long or much of a scroll for you to be off their screen. So in this case, the longer that the post is, the longer you're going to be on their screen. And this is just me thinking, but I feel like that is going to, you know, the longer they see it, then the more likely they might click on it and buy from you. So I do the nine by 16 hit done. I have my picture there. The next thing I do is add my caption. So in this case, this is products that I had linked for the Sephora spring sale. So I want to go ahead and add keywords in this section because again, this is just my theory in the discovery feed on the LTK shopper app, people can search different keywords. And so I feel like if the keyword is in the description, chances are that LTK might serve those posts 
to the people searching those products. So in this case, I'm going to say Sephora Spring Cell, if I can spell, favorites. And I mean, you can go even further and say like all the products that you have on here. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, pressed. Actually, it's called the airbrush. I don't know why I'm capitalizing every single one. This is just a blogger in me. Whenever I do titles, I do that. Airbrush powder, I think it's called. Um, anyways, and you can go ahead and list those if you want. The next thing you want to do is pick a few of the categories that this um, picture or video should go into. So in this case, LTK by Sephora because they're gonna probably have a search bubble all about the Sephora products that people can buy for the sale that's coming up. Also um, a sell, not seasonal, sale alert because there is a sale that is happening. Um, and then I will also do LTK Beauty. Now you can only pick three. If you wanna add more, you can just type it in here. So you can just do hashtag um, LTK, I don't know, under finds under 50. So if you want to do more hashtags, you can definitely do that if you want, um, but you can only physically pick three. Once you've finished with your description, you click done, then you're going to go ahead and add your products. So there are two ways that you can kind of do this. If this is like the first time you've ever posted this video or flat lay, or if it's a collage, then you'll need to go into your folders and look for them. I think I have these under Sephora, if I can spell. Sephora sale. So under my Sephora sale, I see I have the air, oh, it's called flawless finish. Airbrush flawless finish. I have the lip cheat in there as well. Um, I have the pillow talk lipstick and the matte bronzer all in that picture. Um, so I have my products here. You can see at the bottom, there's the four. I click next and then those are my pictures. Um, sometimes you can go ahead and link products that are similar to what you're sharing. So if I am doing more of a styling video and maybe the items that are I'm styling are sold out, you can always link to similar products here. If you wanna be very specific, you can click on those buttons and it will push up the product to exact products. In this case, I have all of these are exact products. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the post and there you go. You have all of your products on the bottom. In this section, you can add it to collections. So if you have a collection, you can either add one or you can populate it into an existing collection. In this case, I have one here for the Sephora sale. So I'm gonna click that and click next. And then I'm going to publish. That is gonna publish my post to my storefront. If you are posting a picture, then as soon as it tells you it's finished, it's posted. If you're doing a video, you will see on the top of here, I don't have it here, but you will see that it's loading. You wanna make sure that you keep your LTK Creator app open until it's finished loading and it actually posts because if you just automatically like X out and it hasn't fully uploaded the video, then you're probably gonna get an error message and it's not gonna post immediately to your storefront. Now you have the product on your actual storefront. So as you can see, I just posted this one today. Now this is what I do whenever I am sharing across social, especially on Instagram, I make sure I create the LTK post on the creator at first. So that way I'd actually have a post to drive all my audience to. So in this case, if I want to share this on Instagram, I will go ahead and open my LTK post and you'll see right here, it says share post and you have a few options. So it just really depends on where you want to share it to. If you want to share it to stories, if you want to share it on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter or X, whatever they call it nowadays, I'm going to go ahead and post it to my Instagram story. So I'm going to click Instagram. You can leave the logo overlay if you want. I choose to hide it because I just don't like it and then click share. This is basically going to open up your Instagram. So as you see here, I am on my Instagram stories and then you can go ahead and click the link, paste it here and then, you know, shop Sephora sale faves and then done. And there you go. Now you have the link 
that is going to direct your audience straight into the LTK post. Whenever you're sharing product links to your audience, it's always best to drive that audience back to your LTK storefront. The reason for this is that you can take advantage of the LTK auto follow feature. So when people land on your storefront, they are automatically added as your followers. Another reason you want to drive your audience to your LTK storefront is because that gives them a chance to actually take a look at all the other items or categories that you might be sharing there. So whether it's beauty or home, or maybe you share a lot of like kit stuff, chances are they might stumble upon another post that they like and buy from you. Another great feature, and this is kind of like a newer feature on LTK, is that your audience can actually comment on some of the posts on your LTK storefronts. So even though it's highly encouraged that you go like really detailed on your product descriptions, sharing like the sizing that you're wearing, how it fits, what you think of it and all of that stuff, Sometimes they have additional questions and then they can go ahead and ask you that on the comment. We'll be notified whenever you do get a comment. So be sure that you are engaging with your audience. Again, we're trying to build that like, know, and trust. And so when they see that somebody's taking the time out to actually answer their burning questions, then they're more likely to continue to follow you and see what else you have to offer. By interacting with your audience, that's also going to boost the engagement of those posts. And those are the posts that get populated to the discovery feeds on the LTK shopping app. So be sure to engage with your audience and keep posting. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Again, don't forget to check out all my other LTK creator tip videos. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found this useful. And if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, don't forget to leave those on the comment box down below. I'll be sure to get to those and get you on the schedule. I hope you'll have a great day and we'll chat soon. Bye.